Hi, Louie Bird. <sighs> I have a bird. And I'm back. I have a bird. Bird? Bird. Bird is the word. Yes, he is. Okay, okay, okay. And I took my interface out, so it's just, I, hopefully it's it's no longer jumbled among a mess of wires. That'll be good. That'll be very good. I feel you. Yes. Pretty excited for Beach Week. Beach day. Yeah, that's uh, two night. weekends. Yeah. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Uh, you're. You're gonna. You're gonna be here. It's still on my calendar. Yeah, I plan on it. Might be able to Unless... do another live Great Scott. Well, not live. <laughs> another uh, Great Scott Marcus uh, here on Ramble together. Entertainment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we're actually together. Uh, I'm Scott, and that I'm one's out Mark. The window now. What's oh? Uh, you know, I I stopped <laughs> using um, wireless mice a while ago. We talked about this really? last time. Yeah, that I'm just really not into. Um, wireless that much anymore, mm-hmm. but uh, how you been? How's it going? Hi, welcome Not back. Bad. It's been it's been good, man. It's been a very relaxing weekend I mean, over the past couple it's weeks. It's been a nice relaxing now, been, weekend. It has it's been so busy. It's just been nice not having any obligations and uh, no place to go, no people to see. I've, I've been at home for the past two days. It's it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm not a loner. It just feels good sometimes. I'm not a you know? loner. Well, we're going to be talking about that a bit more here today. Um, yeah, I, I um, for those that play Warframe, they have a, a double resource weekend going on, so uh, me and my friends have been stocking up on this particular resource that uh, is very pertinent to the game, and I've got, like, hundreds of thousands now. <laughs> so, nice. Um, yeah, I've, I've just been doing that, you, then. Wor- worked out, and, uh, I work tonight, and, um, oh my god. I have exercised every day since Tuesday. So, wow, good for I you. I know, Look weird things go. are happening in my life. <laughs> um, I, I typically go for two to three hours at a time, so. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's about a half hour for me, maybe 45 yes. minutes. I, I get on my, I get on my bike for about 15 minutes, and then, uh, I do some I kick it off dips, with cardio, push-ups. too, yeah. Yeah, uh, I can't uh, imagine you doing dips. I feel like your little bird arms would snap. No, I can do like seventy five <laughs> easily. That's the thing. It's like wow. it's not my little arms. It's it's my body. It's like there's not a lot of weight. Y- you here. are <laughs> missing a significant portion of your weight. Well, even but that like if you're doing dips, it's not really even a part of it. You know, are you're you kidding. I is it? I oh my know. god! I get on the I get on the assisted pull up and I take off. I think. Uh, I'm I'm taking off 85 now. I'm I'm still 210. So yes, it's it's pretty tough. But I'm talking about like dips, like you put your arms out to the side and like I've got I just basically it's use my tricep table tricep dips, right? Oh yeah. no 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 no. Okay, I thought you were saying suspended dips where you're not on your feet at uh, all, where you're just no no I'm still on my from feet. Your, okay, um, I I guess those are dips. I do those too. Mm-hmm. Like av- if I've done a tricep day and then I'm doing something the next day, uh, in mm-hmm. between I'll do dip those kind of dips as a superset, just to kind of get you know keep the triceps reminded that they suck and need to do better. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. so, now, I don't have a pl- any place to do like regular dips. I'm not touching the ground. Yeah, I, I was so, I wasn't sure if your bike. Gym, I, I wasn't sure if your bike maybe had some specialized handlebars that you could kind of just. Uh, huh dip yourself from uh, are you grumbly do you want to tell everyone why you're grumbly why right. is he grumbling i don't know he's just grumbling and now he's pinching um yeah so, go ahead <laughs> so some no. sometimes when you're in a men's locker room there is a danger of seeing another man in the in the buff um and yes that's i i feel kind of bad this week because uh yeah, i are getting out of sync they are what are you um say something to leg a little bit it looks like you're good on my end so hey, hang let's... on i'm gonna turn off the wi-fi on my phone i might have left that on when i plug it in okay i'm gonna check mine too what you doing what you doing honk 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 ah <laughs> Um, he was probably trying to start backing up or something. <laughs> so yeah, I hate it when I, I hate it when it yeah. does things on its own. Um, yeah. It needs my permission. <laughs> um, so 
Sometimes when you're working out and you're in a gym and you go into the men's locker room, there's a danger of seeing another man in the buff. Uh, <laughs> and ironically this week, and, and I hope the gentleman didn't see me laughing, I was not laughing <laughs> at him. I was not laughing at him. I, oh, no. So, um, sir, if for some reason you watch our podcast that only like mm -hmm. 10 people watch at most, um, I still... I was laughing because I was thinking of this other podcast that I, I watched this. <laughs> what? Uh, I was thinking of this other podcast that uh, I was watching where they were talking about be when did you get comfortable with your penis? And we'll kind of talk about that in Ramble, too. Um, and the one guy was talking about how they went to they went like camping a, a camping kind of i don't want to call it resort because i don't think of camping as a resort activity but they went to a campgrounds uh and stayed in this cabin and the cabin only had like public showers <laughs> and most of the guys were like yeah we're not going to you know shower this week we're going to scrub up before we go camping and then you know we'll just bathe in our own sense um mm -hmm. but he and his friend were just like, nah, let's man up and just do this. You know, like, we're all men. Like, let's just go in there and have a good time. And, and. Uh, phrasing. So it was, yeah, I know. That, that was his phrasing, not mine. Oh, <laughs> uh, and so the two of them go in and, you know, they undress. And he, his friend was so big that he couldn't not see it like he was staring him in the eye and out of his periphery he still would see it and uh. and i don't know why but I, like i didn't catch a glimpse of anything this week but for some reason that popped into my head when uh, some gentleman was going to shower and i was just like oh, oh. wrong time for that yeah yeah and for <laughs> So I was just and yeah, he was just like, man, your dad did you a favor. And he uh, and he just said that and walked out <laughs> because he couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't take it. He, <laughs> like, do you just like you just, uh, all of a sudden just respect a man like that? Like, can of shake your hand? <laughs> Congratulations. Make sure you're shaking the hand. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Just uh, the hand. Just the hand. Um, man, I. Unless yeah. you're into guys, then give it a shot. See see what, <laughs> see what you can get. I don't know. Yeah. Um, With consent, of course. Of course. <laughs> um, can I shake your penis, sir? Um, yeah, yeah. So that, that I can was, see that being awkward. I feel kind of bad for that, so I guess I wanted to put that out there. That, um, mm. Sir, if for some random fucking reason you watch our podcast, uh, I am sorry. <laughs> um, so... In my, this is completely random and really random here on on, on Great Scout Marcus. What it's been on my mind for the past oh about four hours now. Um, I was cleaning out, well, not cleaning. I was just kind of organizing, cleaning my DVDs and Blu-rays. And do you know what I hate is and I had a word for this, and I don't have anymore. Unconventional DVD covers, like the ones that are like cardboard box that slip mm -hmm. over the plastic I shit. I'm like, what the I, fuck I, is that there? Well, why don't you just throw those out if you don't like those so much? I just did today. Okay. <laughs> like, See, I like I, those. I, I threw away like six of them. I'm like, this is dumb. Like, like Inception, and this is the best example. It's like a case within a case within a case. <laughs> like, there's, there's like a, yeah, but that's actually a like, that's thing. so yeah. fitting. Yeah. Oh. But I was just like, I just threw that shit away, and like, I just bought Rogue One, and that had a box around it. Fight Club had a box around it. Taxi Driver, so many. And I'm just like, it's fucking everything up. Just it's not necessary. And the same shit on the like cardboard covers on the actual plastic box. I'm like, this is just I like those, but I hate it when they get ruined. Um and I hate loaning those to people because it always comes back a bit beat up. Um I don't know why I like those and want to maintain those, don't start screaming. Um and, but yeah, I for some reason want to maintain them and keep them on my stuff um i used to have the mentality until this afternoon where i'm like fuck him go away i should have shaved oh my god i should shave before mm. i go in tonight um here play with the towels play with the towels i need my hand back play with the towel <laughs> oh god <laughs> don't throw your bird i didn't throw him i just 
carefully removed him in a not so careful way. <laughs> Mark, let's oh, kick it yeah, off sure. with uh, staying the fuck in because yeah. we were just kind of talking about a lot of that. Uh, we did a lot of that this weekend, or at least I know I did. Um, when I said that, when when I text this to you <laughs> that this should be one of our rambles. You were just like, yeah, I stayed in twice this week, and I was just like, what <laughs> well, the I think I meant, like, fuck? This weekend. It's the week. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh... Um, and I think that, uh, yeah, when I was kind of I, thinking on this, ruminating on this, as I like to say, mm-hmm. I, um, I think that when we were growing up, you know, being suburban white kids, um, there was this idea of, like, Man, I shouldn't be staying in. All the cool kids are going out and hanging out yeah. after band practice or basketball or whatever. Um, and like, I I feel like a lot of that carries over to college, where it's just like I'm gonna go out every night. And then like when you're staying in, you almost feel bad for it, mm-hmm. and uh, you hear people walking past your window laughing, and you're just like, stop <laughs> laughing. And it's just like, no way. I mean, being right what? next to your window. What? Uh, although, yeah, we did that live. Did, yeah, yeah, on yeah. Chittenden? Yeah. That happened all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that sucked. Um. Anyway, so... Hey! 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 <laughs> uh, we stayed in that night. Inside joke. Um, And, yeah, I feel, and then I feel like for a lot of 20-somethings, uh, that kind of mentality continues to persist where it's just like... You, you feel like you need to be going out, and I, I think um, mm. it's nice to appreciate the staying in. It's nice to kind of reacclimate to staying in as uh, you enter your adult years because mm. yeah. staying in is a lot healthier, I think, most of the time, a lot more um, conducive to saving money most of the time, things like Absolutely. that. And so I wanted to bring this up, see where your mentality is on it, mm. and talk about it. Shocker. I mean, I completely agree. I was going to itch my ear, but hello. Um, no, I agree with that. I mean, I, I feel like... Wow, uh, that was tough. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that right Fine. now. Um, no, I mean, I agree with that. You know, in college, your mentality is go out all the time. Go you know, out you're doing fuck. have work to do. And it's like, I, I got work to do, but fuck it. I'm going to go out. Um, even in my early 20s, post-grad life, a lot of going out, mid-20s, um, I feel like it, I really didn't start sinking into the I want to stay in mentality. Even if someone has invited me out and like, no, nah, I'm staying in um, until like s- around 27 ish, 26 ish, about 27. Um, you know, when I got a full time job and I'm down in Columbus, I was like, I need a weekend Ow. in Ow. Um, or a weekday even. <laughs> uh, if it de- what do you do? <laughs> He rolls over. I can't <laughs> um, I mean, just world. like this whole weekend, like I, a friend of mine was like, hey, let's go out. I'm like, mm, okay. But then she never got back to me, and I'm like, okay. That, that's another <laughs> that's aspect <laughs> to this that I really do want to touch on, um, where it's just like not being kind of a kid anymore. There, mm-hmm. There's this side of it to where it's just like, oh, so-and-so didn't come out, or I'm not coming out, and it's just like, respect that. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it's, totally. it's, it's just, uh, because there always used to be this mentality of just like, well, you said you'd show up, and it's just like, yes, did we make a huge commitment? Not really, you know. Mm-hmm. Was there a minor commitment? Yeah, probably, but at the same time, it's just like, I'm an adult, I've got a lot of stuff going on, I'm trying to create a YouTube channel, maintaining a job, maintaining workout conditions so that I keep pain mm-hmm. levels down. Um, if I don't show up, don't hold it against me. Just, if yeah, if don't you don't show up, I'm not going to hold it against you. Like, this mm-hmm. is life. This is how things work. Like, sometimes people don't show up. And you got to just kind of respect that, that sometimes people need space or need time or things like that. And staying the fuck in sometimes is <laughs> exactly what the doctor ordered for anyone. You know, I've um, just kind of realized just thinking about this is I think a lot of staying in versus going out also has has to do with uh, your relationship status. Mm-hmm. I tend to feel like, you know, couples will stay in more often than go out just because they have their companionship with them 
you know, at home and on the couch watching a movie, whereas, you know, as you know, single people, we're still kind of looking for companionship. And we find that in our friends that we go out with on a, you know, day to day basis. I, I also think that, yeah, like saying in can make one feel how single they are in. Unless, I personally don't give a shit about yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like what I, I when we were younger though, um I I think there were many times when like if we weren't spending time together, mm-hmm. um you and I would just be like, "Ugh, why am I in like I could be out meeting someone." Ugh. Right. And it's just like, "Nah, probably not." <laughs> um because most of the, most of the time you're really not going to meet someone at a bar that no, that's just, that you're just going to uh form a bond with, really um Mm-hmm. If you form that bond, it's fleeting at best. Um, and I think that, yeah, well, the the thing that really drove me to appreciate staying in and being in and um, finding my happiness in the smaller mm-hmm. things, like rented a bunch of movies, rented uh, Doctor Strange, rented um, Age of Ultron, uh, because I, I saw Civil War on Netflix, and I, mm-hmm. I was just like, I want to watch this. And I, I started it up, and I'm just like, I'm completely lost. Uh, and I stopped it. <laughs> and so I I was just like, I do want to catch up. And I wanted to see Doctor Strange for a long time, and I heard of Age of Ultron wasn't that good. Those people were wrong, in my mind. Um, and <laughs> so, you know, why not just catch up? For a long time... It, we're going to talk about the Marvel uh, I was, I was movie and TV like universe. Yeah, we're, 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 it's, it's not the next one. It's the third one. No! Uh, um, so, yeah, I think that uh, I, I really came to just kind of appreciate smaller things because of my situation. Um, I'm sure there are facets of each person where it's just like some people never grow to appreciate doing those things where you stay in and just uh, – Really appreciate the little things, playing a game, watching a movie together, watching a movie by yourself, watching a TV season by yourself. Um, Mm -hmm. But finding that within yourself, because I do think that each person is capable of, like, just sitting in and enjoying something and not needing to feel this, like, I need to find someone, I need to go (laughs) out, I need to get drunk, things like that. Um, Yeah. Can can be really helpful to one's uh, growing up, D- development, yeah, personal development, yeah, exactly, maturity, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, all those things we like to talk about on the show lately. So, blah blah blah, Bob Ablas blah blog. Yes. So you sir are a mouthful. <laughs> so, uh, with all of that in mind, why don't we go ahead and move on to sex? Let's do it. I don't want to. <laughs> 